The world wants brainy men. Brains are always in demand and are paid a premium because brainy men do things. Brains wear out as certainly as the body, if not properly nourished. Grape nuts is a true brain and body food. It nourishes and strengthens the nerve centers, feeds the nerve cells. Daily wear and tear is replaced by the natural food elements stored by nature in the wheat and barley of which grape nuts is made. Grape nuts food does much to keep one right. For business or frolic, there's a reason. I love grape nuts. And I'm here to say that grape nuts are not just a food for the ancient and elderly. I like them too. So today, I want to share some grape nut factoids with you all, along with the person who made grape nuts. Grape nuts were made by Charles William Post, a University of Illinois dropout and an inventor at heart. Now, Post owned a great many patents for various types of farming equipment. Despite his brilliance, or perhaps in spite of his brilliance, he did not take success or stress very well. And after two nervous breakdowns, he was sent to the Battle Creek, Michigan Sanitarium, where he met Dr. Kellogg and tried his new granola. This is the Kellogg as in the Kellogg brand, the big cereal people. And in Battle Creek, Michigan, with Dr. Kellogg, there is quite the history of cereal Realization. That's too much for right here, but it's fascinating. In any case, Post had this granola, and he loved it. And he came up with this idea that he wanted to share with his fellow patients and the wider world. And thus, in 1897, grape nuts were created. Post set up shop right in Battle Creek, Michigan, and began producing them. As of 2024, grape nuts are 127 years old. That's quite the lifespan. And grape nuts have been a part of a great many interesting ordeals because of it. Perhaps ordeals isn't the right word. How grape nuts has weaseled its way into events. So with that, let's get into the meat of this video. The factoids of grape nuts. Now then, for some interesting factoids. Grape nuts are not made out of grape nuts. They are made out of wheat and barley, which is less appealing in sound. I much prefer the word grape nuts to uh, wheat and barley. Grape nuts sponsored one of Richard Evelyn Byrd's Antarctic exploration trips in 1933. They gave him a bunch of grape nuts and money and sent him off on his merry way. In return, they got to... I guess have bragging rights. They printed a map of Antarctica on the back of their cereal boxes for a while. And on this mission, Bird also apparently sent the first two-way radio transmission. If you don't know Bird, he was a pioneer of the last frontiers. Both of the poles. He liked to explore, chart, and map. And he was a pretty big deal. It's really cool. Definitely you should look into him. In the 1920s and 30s, Apparently, grape nuts were favored by explorers and adventurers, or anyone going on a long journey, because grape nuts were light, resistant to spoilage, small, and fairly nutritionally dense. So it kind of made grape nuts the perfect exploration food. I found this information out while researching grape nuts, but apparently this style of cereal box is referred to as a tombstone. Now... Admittedly, I found this information during my initial information gathering search on Wikipedia, so I'm not exactly sure how true that is, but that's pretty metal. I love that. This is a tombstone of cereal. Oh, and who could forget Volto? Hey, this'll teach you to bust up me rackets, Mr. Reform Mayor. Duck, he threw a bomb! You don't have to duck. Remember my magnetic powers when I say... Volto! My left hand repels. 
Amazing! But the gangster's getting away, Volto. Don't forget, my magnetic right hand attracts Volto. Incredible, you saved more life. How did you do it? It's simple, Mr. Mayor. Volto's from Mars where everyone has magnetic power. And they recharge that magneticism by eating cereal grains daily. Well, in that case, come on inside and have some grape nut flakes. They're the swellest taste in cereal in town. They must be. Everyone on Earth seems to eat them. Grape nut flakes may not give you Volto's magnetic power, but it sure will give you that up and atom feeling in the morning. Get grape nuts flakes today, and you'll say they taste swell. Now, as you can see, Volto is a Martian superhero who has come to Earth to use his magnetic powers to fight evil and eat grape nuts, which is pretty awesome, if I do say so myself. As a note, too, Volto is in the public domain, so do with that what you will. In conclusion, I like eating my grape nuts by filling the bowl full of milk and grape nuts and then leaving it in the fridge for about three or so minutes. Let that really soak in. You need to have an iron jaw if you're going to eat grape nuts straight out of the box. Now, I'm not sponsored by grape nuts. I just really happen to like them, and I liked them before I made this video. I suppose what I'm really trying to say while making this video is that I like grape nuts. Fat guy is eating a plate of food. He runs out of grape nuts and starts to panic. No, no! I can't eat without my grape nuts.